Hi guys and welcome to a, another Random Platypus review. Um, again, a bit more of my uh, salute haul. Um, this time the connection is, is going to be between a couple of companies that I purchased on the same stand. Uh, really one is an accessory but I'm, I'm throwing it in with this because it kind of makes sense to you. Otherwise it's going to be a random review on something very kind of non... not really kind of big dealy. Anyway. So first off, we've got two two foot saw packs. Um, I've got a Christian priest, and I'm just going to get him out because he's going to go join some other monks I've got for for good reason. So I should stand him up to begin with, and then I've got Alfred the Great, uh, and he comes with a standard bearer. So I slam those down as well. Um, Let's have a look. So these are foot saw. Again, you'll find they scale well with other other sort of I want to say leading um, miniature manufacturers, but there's it's, I don't think there's really many leading in this. There's, there's two or three out there that are pretty decent. Um, it's a gripping beast. I'll put next to that. Just you you'll see on a slightly different base. They are pretty much height wise pretty good um there's a green beast metal uh i should go and get one of my other black tree figures so you can see that again against black tree uh, he's finally posed again against black tree he is a good size so i've deliberately got alfred the great not just because he is um, a very 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 nice miniature and that it is out Al Alfred the Great and again in Saga you get some nice rules for Alfred the Great but he's I think he's a really fantastic um, general figure so even if you don't use him as Alfred the Great and just use him as a general for your Saxon forces he's got, I just I think it's really cool he's got a sort of like very British sort of weathery feel to him they've got the wind blowing through his coat making it billow out behind him a bit um, and he's just sort of standing there surveying the the battlefield and watching as his troops do as he's commanded them um he comes with a a standard bearer now with a lot of these packs something quite new to me because i've not been into historics that long it has to be said so some of these things are a bit new to me they don't come with spears so you have to order that you have to buy them separately and i'll get to that in a minute um so what you do get is a really nice little yeah you can see there a little um, pre, pre well it's not really drilled but it's cast in a little pit where you can put your your pin drill and drill his hand out to put the, the banner in and then obviously you get the the dragon top banner uh, which has also got a little hole in it, I don't know if you can quite make that out there, you should be able to, um, which you can also drill out to put the whatever it is that you use to make the banner pole out of. I mean, alternatively, he shouldn't be too hard, I don't think, to um, to convert. If you've got your plastic gripping beast miniatures, you could easily sw switch that hand out with one with a sword and make him a sort of gesturing as attack sort of guy, sort of waving at them. Um, the priest, I got deliberately um, several years ago now. Um, we had a, a guy on the forum called um, Roger the Lodger, um, Who's, who vi visits very, very rarely now uh, due to real life commitments and things. Um, and I really like the Gripping Beast Angry Monks. And I wasn't sure then, because I wasn't playing Saga or interested in Saga back then, but I um, I decided I wanted four of these monks. So I contacted Gripping Beast and I asked them, you know, would you sell four separately? Mainly because there's only th four different sculpts in the pack. So I just needed a single sort of run of them. Um, and they were like, yeah, sure. And they charged me the amount and postage and stuff. And a few days later, I got the parcel through the door and they'd sent me 12 rather than the four that I'd like. So I, I just sent an email to them and they said, well, you may as well just keep them. So I sent four of them off uh, to Roger the Lodger. A few years down the line, I've decided that I want to try and give Saga a go. And of course, now I'm four months short. So what I've done is I've got a couple of other ones that I've got in my collection already that I've added to them. And I've got this guy because he, he almost works like a sort of focal uh, piece. And they're not really a banner because they don't have banners. But he kind of works in that way. 
I'll show you the other monks from Gripping Beast so you can get an idea of what he looks like alongside them. They're, I have to say at this point they are probably a little bit chunkier. The bases are a little bit stiffer and bigger. Um, I believe this is another Gripping Beast model. I'm not really sure where he's from but he's another one I had kicking around. And that one. So those as you can see are the other bunks and they all tend to fit in quite nicely I think similar sorts of size so he's easily going to fit in amongst those that'll be something I, I definitely go to paint up soon I believe I've reviewed these before very nice miniatures anyway so he's going to go in and join them in in their pack because he's like I say he's quite superb really he's got a nice kind of feel to him I very nearly bought the the gripping beast um, priest but he's armored and I want these I wanted him to fit in with the the angry the angry sort of monk kind of feel um, for when I have my Saxons running around perhaps the very early Saxons raiding Britain and uh, the monks getting quite angry about it or even the Vikings they fight on both sides they can fight this on the Saxon side even when, when it comes to the later Saxons um, the last thing I wanted to show you was let me see this some wire spears from North Star now I got these all off the same stall um, Ainsty uh, who, who do all kinds of things they have their own resin range um, but they also carry a lot of um, North Star ranges at at um, various different war game shows, uh, and they also carry the foot store stuff as well. So really, it made it very easy. And in fact, I got some other stuff off them as well because they carry so much stuff. It's very easy to go and just you know, lay down quite a bit of cash with them. They're also really nice guys, which makes it even easier. Um, and a bit of a shout out to, to Dags. Um, so yeah, I got some of these spears. I'll just show them to you so you can see. I mean, for somebody like me who's not really ever handled, I say, historics and stuff before, these were seven pounds. I'm not really sure how many it says you get. I can't remember. Um, and say on there actually. And now I'll try and pick them up. Obviously, these are a little bit stiffer. Can you make it out on there? Yeah, you can. They're a little bit stiffer than plastic, so they're less likely to snap or bend too much. Um, and perfect for when you drill drill holes through things to slide through. Um, if you can see on the ends, the ends are a little literally flattened into spear points, um, which makes them pretty good. I'm actually going to clip, I think, one of the spear points off and use it as a standard for the for this guy. I think that should be about right. Yeah, if you look at that, so that'd be perfect to put the standard on the top of that with him. Um, I have actually got some other figures um, for my the start of my Saxon army, which are Tenatus or Tenatus miniatures. Um, again, they'll be from North Star, but they weren't actually on the stand with it for Ainsdy, so I couldn't make any purchases for them on the day. And they'll be the guys that Alfred the Great will be leading. So what I'll do in just a second, once I put these spears back in the don't really want to lose them back in there they do another pack of spears which are 100 um 100 millimeters these are these are 50 mil um i think the 50 mil fine for normal spears if you wanted pikes or something like that then maybe maybe the others would work so just to give you an example of how um the tenatus saxon figures work alongside these again um the main difference I would say is probably in a bit of the bulk rather than the size in terms of height. Height wise, perfect. In fact this one especially is, is a little bit chunkier and he's fine. The other one that I've just picked out from a similar, the same pack is perhaps a little bit slimmer. Um, but again, same height, just perhaps not quite as chunky. But I think that matters because, again, humans vary. So once you've got a unit of them up and running, I don't think people will really notice. Um, so yeah, that that's going to be the start of my. Well, so far that's kind of what my Saxon, <laughs> my Saxon contingent looks a bit like. I haven't really started on them much. I've got a couple of um, 
cavalry as well. Some, some just some Tenatus figures that um, a friend or Tenatus figures that a friend gave to me. So it kind of makes help with a bit of a start to a, a Saxon army. Um, so yeah, that that's that's the the next purchase I got from Salute. Um, and hopefully in the not too distant future, you'll see some of my um, my Vikings and my Saxons, and then some sort of late Romans that I use as a human fantasy army as well. So they'll be a little bit sort of random-esque, but you should see those as well. Anyway, let me know what you think. Um, if you've got some foot sore and you painted some, why not share them on the forum? Let me know what you think below if you already own them and really like them or you, you don't really like them. Either way, get in touch, get engaging with the forum. Catch you guys later. Cheers. Bye-bye now.